As the days to election day count down, those last efforts to get people out to vote are in full force right now. Today, Yolo County took their mobile vote center to Woodland, offering the option for people to come in and vote in person or drop off a ballot. KCRA 3's Maricela de la Cruz has been there most of the day talking to people about this resource. So, Maricela, what are they telling you about this? Yeah, well, they're saying that this is a very convenient resource. We are inside the mobile vote center. And as soon as you walk in, you're going to be able to check in if you are choosing to vote in person. Right next to that station is the station to print out your ballot right here. And then just a few steps to my left are these uh, stations to go ahead and mark your ballot. A quick and easy process, five to ten minutes if you already know who you are going to be voting for. Now, Yolo County officials started bringing this out in 2022 for the midterm elections and it turned out to be such a success for them that they brought it out again. These mobile vote centers will be going around seven smaller cities and towns in the county and they are promising greater vote voter turnout. We've seen multiple people walking to this location, driving, coming in and voting in person or just dropping off a ballot. And overall, we are hearing how satisfied they are with this resource. So far, 23% of all registered voters in Yolo County are done with early voting and with seven days to go. Officials are trying to get as many people out to the polls as they can. We actually established it because we heard after putting up the vote centers in the rural communities, we would like to have some more in-person experiences and not have to come into the cities to do that. So we purchased this vote center. It was real quick, no waiting. Um, people are coming in just small spurts, so that helps as well. So real convenient because we just need to make a quick stop and be on our way to something else. And people who want to come and just drop off their ballot, they can also go ahead and do that at these mobile vote centers. There's this ballot drop box. Um, they can drop it off in here, and that box will be sealed until Election Day. Now, another thing that Yolo County officials tell me is that they have been hearing a lot of misinformation, so people having any questions or wanting any other resources can come out here and get that assistance in English and in Spanish. They also tell me that they will are, are working to increase security at different locations as we get closer to election day. For now, we are live in the town of Yolo, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News. Maricela, thank you. The Mobile Vote Center will be moving from town to town for the next six days, offering an opportunity for as many residents and rural communities as possible that they can get to.